Okay. Oh. So it's my favorite bird day today. Yes, yes. <laughs> I have been alive. Three-dimensional space-time world for forty-five years. Um. Well, you want it. <laughs> so yeah, forty-five years. I have been alive for that long. Conscious I am a conscious sentient being on planet Earth. Uh, so yeah, uh, that'll make a video, huh? Um, so, um, well, I thought I'd keep the tradition of making videos <laughs> on my birthday. Oh, no, no. <laughs> um, um, anyway, so, uh, I feel like watching a lot of uh, videos and movies on uh, UFOs and aliens, non-human intelligence uh, and uh, yeah uh, I think the reality is not uh, the, it's like reality is it's like ultimate consciousness is reality it's like i think you have to you have to learn a bit more about this you know uh dr stephen greer uh, he talks a lot about this i think he makes a lot of sense like how reality is like on a like a spectrum <coughs> frequency things like that where you got the three dimensional reality and then you got dimensions that we cannot see but um, you know exist as you know, and like other dimensions and you know it's all tied to consciousness it's not just like so when you think about aliens and UFOs those that's just something that appears in a three dimensional area but mm, reality is a lot more than just the three dimensions you know uh, it's like everything is consciousness the universe is conscious uh, you know and, you know uh, con it's like consciousness permeates like he even says that consciousness permeates every photon or i don't know what the smallest particle it is and uh the way I interpret it is like, like, for us, we have a consciousness that is more sensitive than, our, uh, than say, a plant. But a plant is still conscious. Um, it's just not as sensitive as ours is, and maybe there are other beings which are much more sensitive than, than we are, and they can perceive reality in a much more deeper intuitive way uh, so anyway you know, I haven't made him I haven't made any uh, face vlog <laughs> and I haven't uh, you know haven't been grooming myself properly and you know I'm a bit lazy so uh, I thought uh, I thought of making a video like a face video but I, I just I haven't groom myself like I don't know I just you know my my facial hair <laughs> I 
a bit lazy to do so anyway so yes so um reality is more than just uh three-dimensional it's uh uh, yeah, it's opened up a lot of possibilities uh, for me to look at reality. So I think it's a very good, uh, good thing. And uh, yeah, I encourage people to do research on this um, aliens, UFOs, UAPs, and then you understand that it all it all kind of points to consciousness as the ultimate reality, and the consciousness is intelligent. It's it's uh, there's love in it uh it's um it's, it's all the positive frequencies and um it's it's all the the good things <laughs> uh like it's a negative frequency where you know it goes the uh, opposite way of the spectrum but everywhere it's consciousness is everywhere um, you can, it's sort of like a, a word you can use, but I don't like the, I, I mean, some of these words are, you know, like God, Nirvana, uh, I don't know, ultimate reality, unbounded, you know, eternal, beyond space time. Uh, human beings, we can't, like, it's not something you can understand through language, because language is kind of limiting. It's more something you have to like perceive maybe with your third eye or something I don't know um, it's kind of something like that um, but there's you know there's I think it has to do so what's the most important thing here is the consciousness consciousness uh, so it's like, yeah, what happens in death? It's like I feel like we're all machines, you know, like we're biological machines. This is something like, yeah. I feel like you can create a brain type thing, artificial kind of a brain, and you can have that brain be sentient and, uh, in quote, alive, <laughs> because they can experience the consciousness and happy intelligent and stuff i feel like yeah brain is like a so i, I feel like some of these advanced more advanced uh, being they they might they might have evolved like technology to create a brain where it's like the interface between uh the brain or our consciousness and uh, technology to create these creatures and Maybe we were created by one of these beings or in evolution. Maybe maybe one of these alien creatures came and uh, did something to our uh, evolutionary. Like maybe we were like monkeys or, or Neanderthals or don't know, the ends or whatever. And they did something and it increased our rulers from that uh, species to humans. And... Uh, because you know they these flying saucer type things apparently are in like ancient Roman uh, artwork or something, and I think even like it's the same thing you know those the beings with the big eyes and it's all it's like it's like a recurring kind of you know motif or actual description <laughs> so uh, yeah all right uh, yeah um, 45 years today 